This is Asani Inang from APM Northeast and here are some latest updates from Manipur. At least 10 former Congress leaders among 16 MLAs who joined the BJP have got tickets. The Bhartiya Janata Party BJP will be contesting in all the 60 seats in the upcoming 12th Manipur State Assembly election. The party said on Sunday as it released the names of the candidates amid heavy security measures, particularly in all around the party office in Infal. In the final list of 60 candidates, the BJP have not given tickets to three of its MLAs. The MLAs who were denied the tickets are senior most legislator Y. Imran Bhat Singh of Uwankai, P. Sanrat Chandra of Moira, and M. Rameshwar Singh of Kakchi. Tickets were instead allocated to Congress turncoats. BJP supporters burned effigies of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chief Minister M. Biran Singh and shouted the slogans as protests erupted on Sunday after the party named candidates for the next election, leaving many disappointed. Party offices were ransacked in various parts of the state and protesters gathered in several areas in the, with placards. Security had been stepped out around the BJP headquarters in Infal. Several leaders of the BJP have resigned, though the exact number remained unclear. The Shiv Sena on Monday releases its first candidate list with the names of six candidates for the upcoming Manipur election. Meanwhile, the Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC is all set to release the second phase candidate list soon. MPCC President Ann Lokyan Singh said on Sunday. Meeting for the steering committee of MPCC chaired by Rayam Ramesh was held on Sunday evening, followed by Central Election Committee meeting on Monday in the presence of Congress leader Sonia Gandhi. The party president said that the second phase of candidate lease will soon be released after a series of meetings with the leaders. National People's Party NPP leader and Manipur Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joykum said that NPP will welcome those rejected by the BJP. It was no surprise when Joykum himself switched over NPP when he was denied of BJP ticket in 2017 Assembly elections. NPP will be contesting alone in the 2022 election in Manipur and has openly declared its intent to play kingmaker again. The party says it will choose sides according to the result of 2022 elections, be it the BJP or the caucus party.